and welcome to the Summer um, Research Symposium. Um, my speaker this morning is Janina Jeff. Janina Jeff participated in the Spelman College MBRS RISE program June 2005 through May 2007. While in Spelman, Janina conducted research in Dr. Morgan's lab where she worked on imprinting regions and bovine genes. She received a BS in biology from Spelman College in 2007. Um, Janina is currently pursuing a master's in applied statistics and PhD in human genetics at Vanderbilt University. And upon completion, Janita will be the first African American to graduate from, from the human genetics department. Yes. Currently, Janita is start, starting her third year of graduate school at Vanderbilt under the membership, under the mentorship of Dana Crawford. She conducts research on identifying genetic variants of common cardiovascular disease and traits. For her thesis, Janina plans to investigate the genetics of quantitative traits associated with arteria thrombosis in understudied minority populations. Ultimately, she would like to educate underrepresented minorities about the importance of healthcare and participation in biomedical research. Please welcome Janina Jeff. Good morning. Good morning. I would say some more about myself, but I think Stephanie did enough, so we'll just get straight to it. So currently right now, I'm a third year graduate student at Vanderbilt. I'm working on my PhD and master's in applied statistics and human genetics. And today, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about my role to Vanderbilt. So basically what I did to prepare myself for graduate school and how I became uh, interested in science and interested in genetics. Then I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Vanderbilt and the graduate programs that we have there, more specifically the IGP and the IMSD program, the program that I came through, to give you guys a little bit more information because Vanderbilt and uh, Vanderbilt really, really, really likes Spelman. So when I told them I was coming to give this talk, they were like, yeah, please talk about the IMSD and the IGP program because we really like Spelman students and we really want Spelman students to come and join us. Then I'm going to talk more specifically about the program I'm in, the Center for Human Genetics PhD program, and a little bit about our curriculum, exactly what you can expect if you were to join one of our departments. And lastly, I'll talk about one of my uh, research projects that I'm currently working on, just finished, and um, if we have time, I'll talk about a little bit more about some of the other projects that I work on in my lab. So how did I become interested in science? Originally, I became interested in science in high school, and it's really a funny story because, I, you know, when you're in high school, you're trying to find a place where you fit. And I felt like I fit in the science department. I was always interested in biology. So I started to compete in these science fairs. And it's such a funny story because I would try and come up with a science project, and I would literally just turn to a page in the book, and they had those little... Um, you know how when you get to the end of the chapter, they have little excerpts about, like, uh, what they call, like, discussion questions or, like, those hard thinking questions. And I would take those questions and turn them into science projects, little small science projects. So I competed in science, pro uh, in science fairs while I was in high school, both locally and regionally. I started off, you know, in high school, and I would win that one, and then I would move on to the city science fair. And then my senior year, I made it to the state science fair, which was really fun. But that's exactly how I became interested in uh, science. So upon graduating from high school, I was, it was time for me to decide where undergrad I should go to. So my grandfather, who uh, sadly enough passed the week after I graduated from high school, always wanted me to come to Spelman. I had an aunt who came to Spelman, and she did so well. And he always told me, you know, in order to be the woman that I want you to be, you need to attend Spelman. So I was like, Okay, Spelman didn't give me any money. It was really tough. <laughs> you know, but I really had to come to Spelman. I knew that, that was where I had to be, and especially looking, at, looking up to my aunt after she had came here. You know, I really had to work hard and find outside scholarships to fund myself to come here. So I came to Spelman, and right before, while I was uh, senior year of high school, my mom, she got pregnant. So. My mom had my youngest sister when I was 18 years old. I was a freshman here at Spelman. So when I came here, I was like, I knew I was going to be a biology major, and I said I was going to be a scientist. 
And then she got pregnant and she had all these things that was going on. I was learning so much. I was like, I want to be an OBGYN. And that was my goal when I first came here. I was determined. I said, I'm, I'm going to be an OBGYN because I want to really help educate young um, women, especially diverse women, about um, pregnancies and things that they should be doing because my mom didn't know as much, especially having a, a baby at an older age. So I became really interested in that. But then when I got here, as I matriculated my way through Spelman, I'll talk about how that didn't work out. So my first year, like I said, I was interested in becoming an OBGYN. So I wasn't really, you know, trying to hear the research stuff. I was really focused on doing well and how I was going to study for the MCAT and be an MD. So my first year, I didn't do any research. I just took the regular biology courses, which were really, really tough. But I made it through. And the summer, I decided that I was going to do this Spanish program because I, was, I wanted to be ahead in Spanish. I wanted to be different. So I wanted to acquire a new language. So I did this Spanish program at Morehouse. And I came back, and I was like, I want to be a Spanish minor. So I came back, and I was a Spanish minor. And then I became, I heard about this program there were flyers all around and they were advertising this program right before the summer of my, my the summer before my junior year about this training program. And I heard of RISE and heard of students who were in the developmental program, but I've never heard of this training program. So a few of my friends, we, we applied and we got in and we came that summer and we learned so much stuff. And it was really then, I think we did an ELISA experiment or something like that. It was really then when I really decided that you know, research may not be so bad. You know, we took a lot of field trips and we got to see a lot of the perks of being in research. And I was like, I could go to school for free. This, this is what I want to do. So then my third year, I applied to the developmental program. And I said, I'm going to work in a lab. And I was really trying to struggle to figure out which lab I was going to work in. I started out actually in Dr. Jackson's lab. And she helped me out. We were, you know, she helped me. I was helping her edit a, a paper, actually, that she was doing at the time. And I got familiar with some software. And then this new professor came. He was starting his first year here at Spelman as a genetics professor, uh, Dr. Emmy Moore. And I don't believe he's here anymore. But um, when he came, he needed students. So a few, uh, one of my friends, two of my friends, actually, we all, you know, went up to him and said, you know, we want to be in your lab. Mind you, we knew nothing about what he did, what he worked on, or anything of that nature. But we wanted to work in a lab. So we talked to him, and he's a very uh, talkative person. And we had our first <laughs> meeting with him, which lasted about two and a half hours. And he told us how he was doing this work on fetal cow birth weight and imprinting, you know, imprinting status for um, fetal cow, well, fetal cows and how it affects their birth weight. So we were like, oh, this sounds really interesting. And it was USDA funded. It really had, he really sold us the big picture, which is something really important when you start doing grant writing and stuff. You want to see how this is applicable to everyday life. So he sold us that. And we decided to work in his lab. And it was a lot of fun. So then, I'm not going to say it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work. And we learned a lot. And now that I look back on it, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> so then my fourth year, I knew at that point that I, I really wanted to go to graduate school. And Dr. Emmy Morin and I talked about it, and he was telling me, you know, all the stuff that he went through. He made graduate school seem like this horrible place that was so hard to get into. Not horrible, but, you know, very difficult. Um, so he made me take it a lot more seriously than I originally did. So I started to prepare for the GRE, and I sent out all these graduate school applications. Maybe to about five or six schools. And I completed my second year of research with Dr. Amy Moore. And the fourth year was really, really important because it was really that year that I could understand the research. I would say my third year, I was doing the research, but I didn't really know what I was doing. But when you start to apply to graduate school, you have to be able to sell yourself.